Not surprisingly, the auto company known for its handling and reliability also has the best gas mileage. Honda, the most fuel-efficient auto company in America. Hello, I'm Eric Hesseldahl. I'm Senior Technology Writer here at BusinessWeek.com, and this is Tech 101. This is our weekly video podcast where we answer your questions about technology. So don't be bashful. Send us your questions. The email address is tech101 at businessweek.com, and we'll do our best to answer them for you and in plain English. Our question this week comes from Melissa in Minneapolis, who's getting a new cell phone. She writes, I have a cell phone from Verizon. It's a Motorola Razor. I used it to take a lot of pictures, but now I want to get a new phone. Before I do that, I want to get the pictures off the phone and onto my computer with the rest of my digital photos. I can send them from the phone to my email address, but that'll take a lot of time and probably cost a lot of money. Is there an easier way to do it? Sure is easier, Melissa. You just have to know exactly what you need to buy. I had the exact same problem, and just like you, I am a Motorola phone user and a customer of Verizon. Had the exact same problem myself a little while back. Um, I'll show you my phone, actually. It's a Motorola Crazer. And I really wanted to keep that picture of the Flatiron building from my old Motorola V710 and had a little trouble moving it. And basically what I learned that I needed is a really small memory card that goes inside your phone. Sometimes it's called a trans flash card, but lately these days it's called a micro SD card. So let's open up my phone. Slip off the battery cover. All right here, you can see there's a slot for the trans flash card. And uh, the positioning will vary on different various phones, so, but uh, most of the modern phones on the market today will have a slot for this card. Pop out this protector here. And it's very small. There's the card. Now that one holds 128 megs, and I had to buy it separately um, at the uh, Verizon store. And uh, lately, the capacities have gotten a lot bigger. You can get uh, 256 megs up to 2 gigabytes on a single card this size. And so the prices will vary by capacity. But the problem with a card this size is you don't really have a ready place to put it in, e in a computer or even other card readers. It's too small. So I'm going to show you how we're going to deal with that right now. Fortunately, it came with an adapter that is the exact same size as an SD card. This one has a very small little slot in it. And you can see the trans flash card fits right inside of it. So once that tiny card is in this bigger card, you can use it with a standard card reader. Something like this, for example, which is a SanDisk 5-in-1, goes directly into a USB port. And the larger card fits like so. And once you've got it set up like this, you can plug it directly into a USB port on your computer. And from there, you can browse to the directory that has the pictures or whatever other files you want to save. Save it to your computer so that you make sure you got it just in case you lose it when you next put the card inside your new phone. Here, that's a SanDisk 12-in-1. Works with pretty much any kind of flash memory card that you're going to have, whether for your digital camera, MP3 player, what have you. So uh, as far as it's concerned, this is just another SD card. It doesn't know the difference between a trans flash or micro SD. As long as it fits, it thinks it's an SD. So I'm going to put this into the SD slot right now. So I'll put that in there. You can see Windows responding. And I'm going to go ahead and just navigate to where I know my photos are. And there you get an idea what some of my photos look like. And these are just icons, and you can just drag them to any directory there where you want to save them. And it's relatively the same PC or Mac. So but here you can get a look at, uh, that's a picture I took with, with my phone during a sunset from the office here. So I can grab this one and just drag it to the desktop and save it. And you can do that with 
any of the photos that you want to save or all of them at once and then import them into whatever photo management tool you happen to use, whether it's on your PC or your Mac. On the Mac, I find that iPhoto works terrific. So Melissa, I hope we were able to answer your question. It's really not all that difficult to back up those pictures, move them to a new phone, or uh, back them up to your computer as the case may be. So that wraps it up for this edition of Tech 101. Remember to send us your questions. The address is tech101 at businessweek.com. Remember, technology should be easy, and when it's not, it's not your fault. I'll see you next week, but right now, I'm going to put together my cell phone. Not surprisingly, the auto company known for its handling and reliability also has the best gas mileage. Honda, the most fuel-efficient auto company in America.